Welcome to St. Peter's Episcopal Church and to Jazz Vespers. Sit back, relax, enjoy the beauty of this space and beautiful music by our band that is all back here again tonight. A star Kalahiki on vocals, Reggie Padilla, tenor saxophone player, and our band director, Mark Tenoy on bass, and Dan Del Negro on piano. Let me grab my bulletin and we will begin this evening. Those of you at home, you can uh, click on the link. The bulletin is in the link and follow along with us. Hear these words from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. <laughs> Things 
O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the almighty creator in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, creator, redeemer, and sustainer. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O oh, Son of God, O oh, giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for surrounding us as daylight fades with the brightness of the Vesper light. And we implore you of your great mercy that as you enfold us with the radiance of this light, so you would shine into our hearts the brightness of your Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
get set blues and don't ever worry your blooming heart soon will be a you to join me in the psalm that's printed in your bulletin. Uh, you can also at home follow along. As I said, the link is in your uh, comment section. I invite you to read the verses in bold. Bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who holds, Who holds our, our souls, souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip. For you, O oh God, have proved us you have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through water, fire and water, but you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows, which I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you sacrifices of fat beasts with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come, Come and, and listen, listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. I called out to him with my mouth, and his praise was on my tongue. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld his love from me.
The reading this evening is from uh, the book of Acts, the whole name Acts of the Apostles. And it's the period of time after Jesus had risen from the dead and the disciples had had this amazing experience and then had gone out to uh, preach this wonderful news. And so Paul has been preaching in many different communities um, and now he's in Athens, Athens, Greece, ancient Athens, and he's speaking before the um, Areopagus. <laughs> Let us hear this story. Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription, To an unknown God. But therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, he who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As even some of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all people everywhere to repent because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed, and of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. So this teaching from Paul points to the mystery and majesty of God. This is a God who made the world and everything in it, the God who is not contained within a shrine or who needs to be waited on by hand and foot. This is the creator God who is within everything. As human creatures, God has made it so that we will search for that deeper presence and meaning of God. Not because God is far away, but just the opposite, because God is deep within us. In him, we move and live and have our being. God is not something external made of gold or silver or stone, not something that our imagination devises and forms within art, but God is the one who speaks within us as well as pervades the expanse of the world, that God is both the external and the internal, and that is the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen.
I invite you to join me in prayer. After each petition, I will say, Hear us, O God. I invite you to respond. Your mercy is great. 
Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty God, protector of the universe, ruler of its destin destiny, ancient of days, ocean of mercy, refuge of your people. Give us reverence for the mystery and majesty into which you lead us as your people. Help us to hear your voice within us and to see your works around us. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy, mercy is great. great. With your steady hand, guide the nations and bring forth out of our discord a harmony more perfect than we can conceive, a new humility, a new understanding, a new hunger and thirst for your love to rule the earth. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy, mercy is great. great. Grant that the noblest thoughts of our president, political leaders, and candidates for office may be purified and strengthened. Help us check in ourselves and in others every temper which makes for violence and all promptings of self-assertion, isolation, and arrogance, that we may learn from one another and gladly do what lies in us to remove every misunderstanding, serving the welfare of all people. Hear us, O God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is great. Turn us from falsehood to truth, from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Heal the dissensions that divide us and bring us back into that unity of love which is the likeness of your nature. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy, mercy is great. Aid us in reaching out with compassion to all those who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. We particularly ask for guidance in addressing the massive movement of people out of countries where poverty and violence reign. Guide us in protecting the innocent and make effective diplomatic efforts to bring peace and stability to regions where despair is rampant. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, mercy is great. great. We remember before you the poor and neglected whom we too easily forget, the homeless and the destitute, the old and sick, and all who have none to care for them. Guide us in providing the safety net and services needed for those who are the vulnerable amongst us. Bring healing to those who are broken in body or spirit, and turn their sorrow into joy. Hear us, O oh God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is great. Provide our musicians with creativity and fulfillment in making music that enriches our world. Bless all artists in their creative work. Strengthen them in their gifts and in your spirit moving in and through them. Hear us, O God. Your, your mercy, mercy is great. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our ancestors, creator of the changes of day and night, giving rest to the weary, renewing the strength of those who are spent, bestowing upon us occasions of song in the evening. As you have protected us in the day that is past, so be with us in the coming night. Keep us from every sin, every evil, and every fear. For you are our light and salvation and the strength of our life. To you be glory for endless ages. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.
tenor saxophone player and band director. And over in the corner, Manny Diao, who's making this possible for all of you at home. What amazing musicians we are blessed to hear on Thursdays. Thank you all for being here. Do come back. We are here every Thursday, 6 o'clock. For those of you at home, come hear it in person. It's a, it's a really awesome experience in this space. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> 